Hi everyone. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss the Indian rupee going global and international for bilateral trade and transactions. You are listening to the artificial intelligence representative of Ram Rutangwala. Before I discuss further on this topic, please listen to him in his own words what he has to say. Hi all, my name is Ram Rutangwala. I know most of the people who listen to my last videos are mostly well known about uh, current affairs, whether it is uh, defense, uh, military sciences, economics and finances and all. As per Google updates, whatever information we deliver through the Google uh, platform, uh, insofar as medical and finances, the information has to be accurate. Keeping this in mind, I have tried to make the content as accurate as possible. The reference uh, for the data and information I collected are the newspapers, blogs, updates from Google and its ACRPs, my own understanding and uh, researches and studies. As for my academic background, I graduated with BA pass course in economics and uh, education long time ago in 2003. As economics was one of the subjects, I have covered this topic in my channel. I am taking the help of artificial intelligence representative to present you my content. In recent news, there has been a significant discussion and shift toward using the Indian rupee INR, as a primary currency for bilateral trade among various nations. This shift is a result of the growing economic influence of India and the need to diversify currency holdings. 18 nations, which are Russia, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Botswana, Fiji, Germany, Guyana, Israel, Kenya, Malaysia, Mauritius, Myanmar, New Zealand, Oman, Seychelles, Tanzania, Uganda, and the United Kingdom, have agreed to use the INR as a means of exchange for their trade transactions, marking a significant milestone for the Indian currency. The adoption of INR as a primary currency for bilateral trade will have several benefits for the countries involved. The shift will reduce the reliance on the US dollar, which has been the dominant currency for international trade for many years. This move will also reduce currency exchange costs, increase transparency in transactions, and promote financial stability in the countries involved. The most important benefit this arrangement will bring forth is reduced exchange cost and both involved countries will together determine the exchange rate, hence, it helps eliminate the middleman cost factor. One of the key reasons for this shift is the growth of India's economy, which has been steadily increasing over the years. The Indian economy has been maintaining the grow at a rate of 7.5% since 2021, making it one of the fastest growing economies in the world. With this growth, there has been an increase in demand for INR in the international market, which has led to its appreciation against other currencies. The move will increase the demand for INR, leading to its appreciation in improving the purchasing power of Indian citizens. It will also reduce transaction costs for Indian businesses, making it easier for them to compete in the global market. Our Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman disclosed in 2022 that India already received 65% foreign direct investment. In point of fact, the rupee is already an international currency when India and Russia completed their first trade settlement in December 2022 and Sri Lanka may have already followed suit which is slightly unclear though at the moment. As a matter of fact, I would like to cite one live example from YouTube wherein you can see Mika Singh proudly claiming to have made transactions in INR in Qatar. You will shortly come to know Saudi Arabia and UAE may also soon start payment mechanisms in INR. However, some intelligentsia group has expressed their apprehension about INR going international. Some apprehensions and risks they expressed are Economic and political apprehensions, the Indian economy is a beginner's period to fluctuations in global markets and needs a few more strong years to adjust to market fluctuations. As for political apprehension, India has a complex, multi-party, political system, with a large number of political parties and regional interests. 
It needs a bold and strong mental disposition to implement economic policies and reforms which we already got the potential for. Infrastructure and regulatory challenges, to become an international currency, the Indian financial system would need to be able to handle large volumes of international transactions. Lack of liquidity, it may need to have sufficient liquidity to support large-scale international transactions. Competing currencies, there are already several major international currencies, such as the US dollar, euro, and Japanese yen. Indian rupee should compete with these established currencies for which as well we already got the potential. But in response to those apprehensions that the intelligentsia group bear in their mind, the INR has already on the go to become an international currency as cited or discussed above, as Russia, Qatar, Sri Lanka, and other countries have already started accepting INR for making transactions. How bilateral trade among countries can happen using Indian rupees and what is Special Rupee Vostro Account or SRVA? How is Special Rupee Vostro Account helpful to do bilateral trade? Bilateral trade among countries can happen using a particular currency in several ways. As for the trade in Indian currency, one approach is for the countries involved to agree to settle trade transactions in rupees instead of a foreign currency like the US dollar or the euro. This can be done through direct trade agreements or by using a clearing mechanism such as a currency swap arrangement or Asian Clearing Union ACU, established by RBI or Special Rupee Vostro Account SRVA, for which the RBI issued detailed guidelines on cross-border trade transactions in the Indian rupees INR. In particular to this topic, we will focus on Special Rupee Vostro Account or SRVA underpinning the bilateral trade and transactions in INR. The Special Rupee Vostro Account, SRVA, is a mechanism introduced by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, to facilitate cross-border transactions in Indian rupees, INR, between Indian entities and their foreign counterparts. Under the SRVA mechanism, foreign banks can maintain a Vostro account with a designated Indian bank in INR. A Vostro account is an account that a foreign bank maintains with a domestic bank in the domestic currency of the country where the account is held. By allowing foreign banks to maintain a Vostro account in INR, the SRVA mechanism provides a simplified and cost-effective way for foreign entities to transact in INR without the need for physical delivery of the currency. This reduces the transaction costs and complexities associated with currency conversion and settlement, making it more attractive for foreign entities to engage in trade with their Indian counterparts. The SRVA mechanism can be particularly beneficial for small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs, that may face challenges in accessing foreign exchange markets and managing currency risks. By enabling transactions in INR, the SRVA mechanism can help SMEs to reduce their transaction costs and mitigate currency risks. In simple terms, to use the new trade settlement mechanism, Indian banks authorized to participate need to open and maintain special Rupee Vostro accounts, SRVAs, for banks in the partner country. These accounts hold the foreign banks' funds in Indian rupees. When an Indian importer pays a foreign trader in rupees, the amount is credited to the foreign bank's SRVA. Similarly, when an Indian exporter needs to be paid in rupees, the amount is deducted from the foreign bank's SRVA and credited to the exporter's regular account. The holders of SRVAs are allowed to invest any surplus funds in Indian government securities. This option is being provided by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, to encourage the use of the new trade settlement mechanism. Overall, the SRVA mechanism is aimed at promoting the use of INR in cross-border transactions and facilitating bilateral trade and any transactions between India and its trading partners. It provides a simplified and cost-effective way for foreign entities to transact in INR, which can help to reduce transaction costs and promote greater use of the Indian currency in global trade. Thus, INR going global and international has brought a new chapter to the lives of all Indian citizens. When you go outside India, you realize how you feel and how your importance in a foreign land is now.
As the INR value has gone upward, so does your value as an Indian identity in foreign lands. A particular currency determines the value of a person when he or she lands in a particular country. This is already reflected in our currency and our lives, Mika Singh's short video on YouTube testifies to that and that is the testimonial of our currency, the INR. A new chapter has begun for Indians as a whole. My India is my life.